Hey there fellas, today I'm going to cover the new Pure 0.222 and the new CSP together with the Pure as well, which is CSP 0.2.1 Preview 2. So I haven't covered them one by one just because there's not too many changes itself. However, I think it's worth a video if I combine them together. And now onto the questions, how to get Pure and CSP is very easy guys. You need to go to, first for Pure, you have to go to Peter Ball's Patreon. Then become a patron for one euro or more. They do amazing job together with Ilya. So feel free to support them if you want for more. Then if you want to get the CSP preview version, which contains the rain effects and so on, and all the fixes and new graphic updates, whatever, you can get it again for one euro or more. Once you have become a member, these posts will unlock right here and you'll be able to download the new patches and basically updates of Pure and CSP. So once you've downloaded the CSP and the Pure or just one of them, I'm gonna cover now how to actually install them. You have to go to your Zero Corsa root folder. If you don't know how to do that, just open Steam, go to properties, go to install files, click browse, boom then this folder will appear and now you're into the root folder now before we go and install pure guys something very important we always need to uninstall pure obviously this does not include the people that install pure for the first time so this is only for people that have used pure before and have previous versions you always want to uninstall pure in case you don't have uninstall pure bat you can get it from this folder just drag and drop it here and run it or even on the desktop, just run the uninstall pure bat and then it will ask you to find your folder. You find your Acero Corsa folder, which is very simple to find. You just need to locate your Steam folder, Steam, then we go to Steam apps, come on, Acero Corsa, then you click OK and just uninstall pure. And there we go to the installation. But remember, always remove the previous version of pure before you install the new ones. And which is the safest way to install things is drag and dropping into the root folder, so installing manually. So what we do, we open this, I use WinRAR, you can use any extractor program that you like, 7-zip WinRAR, I suggest these two. So I'm gonna open this folder, grab all these files, and we grab them, we drag and drop them here into the empty space. So obviously I've already have the pure, so I'm just gonna cancel. It's gonna ask me to replace, I'm not going to replace. Make sure guys to click replace. I already have the file, so I'm just going to cancel this. Okay, next CSP, very simple again, guys. You just open the CSP, then we close this, and we grab these two files, and again, we drag and drop into the empty space. Do not drag and drop the files into any of these folders. So you drag and drop here into the empty space. When it asks you, just click replace. Obviously, I already have the CSP, so I'm just going to cancel. Okay, so as we have them installed, let me show you how to set them up on the content manager itself. So we open content manager, we go to settings, and we go to custom share patch about an updates, and you can see we're now on the new CSP 0.2.1 preview 2. Now, we'll cover what comes with it in a moment. Then now we're gonna check what happened with our pure. We're gonna go to weather effects and we have to go here on the weather style and we need to select pure by Peter Bowles 0.222. Then once you do that, a lot of people ask, I don't have the controller in the new versions as I covered in every pure update video, guys, the new controller plays basically where you select the controllers is from here you go to drive section weather and you can see pure dynamic or pure static so feel free to just click here select if you want static if you want dynamic click here but keep in mind dynamic will take quite some fps something very important that i want to cover now guys obviously the change log is pretty big However, a lot of people have reported to me, bro, what happened with neck effects? Uh, do you know what happened? It, it's not the same and stuff. So I experienced this the same, guys. I installed the CSP the next day. I went to drive and my neck effects was not the same. Like the camera was flying left and right. So what happened is neck effects actually received a new custom script, which is similar to real head motion, which I absolutely personally hate. So basically how to get rid of the custom script, remove active, and you see all the old settings popping up and you know how important it is to not lose your settings. And another bug that I want to cover guys after I installed the new Pure and the CSP is that my Norse Life, as this happened only on Norse Life so far that I've tested, is my track was blurred either on normal driving or replay if you get this. 
I'll tell you how to fix it. Big props to Jay Fielders. Thank you very much, buddy. As you can see, guys, I also have problems. And sometimes I go and ask for suggestions. So I ask Peter Bowes, hey, brother, can you tell me what can I do about this? I have absolutely no clue this time. And he suggested to open a help thread. And Jay Fielders helped me out. So thank you very much, brother. I give credit where credit is due. And this fella suggested that it could be the motion blur from the extra effects and absolutely it was the motion blur so if you get this blurry picture right here guys remove the motion blur from content manager you can find it right here you go to content manager settings custom shader patch then you go right here to extra effects and you remove the motion blur and for the controller players on the gamepad effects guys there's a new script feel free to try it come here to gamepad effects then gamepad script active and then you click right here on the drop down menu and select gyro steer or gyro steer, whatever you want to call this. Feel free to try it. It should work for all the controllers, I suppose. Try it. Leave a feedback down below. Is it good? Is it bad? And now very, very quickly onto the change log, guys. We have new updates to the pure config, new updates to the pure planner, integration of custom post processing, which is awesome. We have pure HDR and then we have some blinding shader, which will be amazing. So. We can check now the CSP change log and just hop in game and I'll show you a thing or two. So if you look through the whole change log guys, it's absolutely massive. So that's why we're just going to go into the most important stuff, which is we have windscreen reflections added. We have fixes to the rain physics. Basically, deceleration in puddles is more accurate now. For the servers, we have now new option in the configs, which we can force the drivers to use the same rain physics. That way one guy won't have like the, the rain physics turned off or the other guy will have them on. You can just control all the drivers itself. New AGX tone mapping function and some others which are available in the post-processing filter editor. We have track occlusion walls, which were previously used for rendering, and now they can be used to occlude audio as well. And finally, some updates to the weather effect style. So we're in the game, guys. And obviously, if you want to find the pure configs, you need to open this sidebar, which is absolutely buggy. You can see that's definitely a bug. So the, the sidebar is just popping nonstop after I opened it once. So once you go to the sidebar, you type pure and you will find pure config and pure planner. So open these two. And obviously, if you have never set up pure, your option for clouds, which is cloud vendors method, needs to be set on one. So you can have these beautiful sky domes working and everything rendering. You can see it's absolutely amazing. But we'll jump into a showcase in a moment. So what we have, have the post processing filter right here. So let's check what filters do we got now. We have pure, then we have pure candy. This is closing nonstop, pure HDR, pure HDR I. Then we have pure linear, pure simple, and now we have pure VR. So the VR users can absolutely enjoy this patch. For the pure, you have a new filter, which should be working absolutely flawless for VR, but it needs testing. I unfortunately do not have VR, so guys, I need your feedback. Is it good? Is it not? Let me know in the comments down below. So what you see right here, guys, is just pure and the pure PP filter. I have disabled my reshade, but I'm a massive fan of these new gold rays update. I just absolutely love it. Like right here, you see the sunlight passing just through the trees as we move on. And this is amazing on a toga. I personally absolutely enjoy it. You're surrounded by a forest on the toga and then just the sunlight passes through the trees right like this. And it's just fantastic. So huge fan for this God Rays update. Now guys, the Pure Planner has more updates as you saw, and you can now make the transition way smoother and way nicer. You can control the humidity. As we covered in the previous updates, there were a few things that you can control and stuff like that, but there's more updates and you can see right here. 
just the transition you can make everything smoother and of course if you watch the previous update you know already that you can click save save your preset and next time you want to play it you can just load your preset and the weathers will appear here as you can see if you just want to be sunny and have one weather without multiple ones just delete this one or if you want to have multiple weathers changing you want to go from sunny to rain to broken clouds then just set these up and just click broken clouds rain and then obviously go to the data and set up how personally would you love the rain to be and once you set up the multiple weathers just if you want more rain for your rainy day just set more rain amount if you want less rain more water just you get the point guys play with all the options set it up and make it smooth you can play with the transitions uh, you can see right here that's the date of your transition it's going to be very smooth next let's check the pure config itself and right here you can see when you go to shaders you can see we have landscape that we've covered previously rain haze that we've covered previously and we now have sun blinding so here are the options feel free to check them out if you want play with them what is next is that we have new ui for the ai you can control the headlights i'm not sure if this was previously here but in general there is new ui option right here and new stuff added right here everything separated which is awesome you can see csp lights previously this just used to be one massive list of options and whoever knows knows what to touch now everything is separated for you guys and you can clearly know what is what so thank you very much peter this helps uh, all the new beginners and stuff know exactly what they're touching here you're playing with the sunlight here you're playing with the ambient light and here you're playing with reflections and if you change something and you're like oh oh my god i don't know the default value you can just use your mouse right click and it resets to default so even if you screw up something you can see reflections boom right click you fix it and you have the csp lights and so on so you get the point guys so that's about it for today's update guys i hope you enjoyed it here is me just goofing around with the ferrari just sliding it around testing it i never really played with the f40 so I was really enjoying it. It's a very loose car. That's why you see me sliding a lot. So I decided, you know what? Why should I not just try to use some weight transfer, brake a bit, see if it's going to slide through the corners, right? Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please like. Really helps me out. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Obviously, you probably noticed the sidebar. There's not much I can do about it. It's just buggy. So I guess I'll send a picture or something. And hopefully, uh, Ilya X45 will fix it. So, so that's about it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I tried to cover the most important stuff. Obviously, you saw the change log is massive. So for now, guys, wish you all the best. And we'll see you in the next video.